back, everyone. Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, hosting the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. We're inside McNichols Arena, the determining site for the U.S. Gymnastics National Team. I'm Doug Dunbar, along with Maura Driscoll. We, of course, are in a post-Olympic year, an opportunity for the sport of gymnastics to rebuild itself and look forward to the next Olympic Games. And here, top 20 athletes will move on and form our national team. But there's also some significant news on the world level coming out of this meet. There is, and this meet, in fact, is the marquee event in the United States for the sport of gymnastics. But it's also more significant, as you say, because it will serve as the qualifying meet for the upcoming World Championships in Switzerland. The top six athletes from this competition who are age-eligible, and we'll explain what that means later, will go on to represent the U.S. at the 97 Worlds. After one round of competition, a surprise to many, but not necessarily to you. We talked about this. Dominic Mociano right now in 12th position. And the reason why it's not really surprising is because her intense training since the Olympics has been minimal. Her coach, Bella Caroli, has retired. She has commitments with the post-Olympic tour and also the new rules. Every year after the Olympics, there's a new set of rules, and she's adapting to those rules still. Also somewhat interesting, our current leader, Vanessa Atler, after round one, could conceivably win it here in Denver, Colorado, but could not compete on the world level. That's because she is not age eligible, and what that means is there's a new international rule. They increase the age limit to 16 years of age. I disagree with it because I don't think we're going to see some of the best athletes on the world stage. More on the age issue as we go throughout the show, and also coming up, we will highlight some of the rising stars in the junior division. So, we get underway with round two. There'll be four rotations. Mohini Bahardwa out of Houston, Texas, will be the first to run the 25 yards. Is the entrance to the vault. And she is so powerful. Just watch her go. So much height on that vault. A Yurchenko, one and a half twisting. Vault in the laid out position. She is one of the older athletes in this competition at 18 years old. So she is age eligible, if you will. She's been on actually three of the last four U.S. national teams. This particular vault is called a Yurchenko. It's a round off entry. Then she does a back handspring onto the vault. Watch her push and her height off of the horse. This is what the judges want to see. Height in the air and distance away from the horse. Tough to land, a big hop on the landing, but really good execution in the air. I am, of course, partial to Mohini because she will be attending my alma mater, UCLA, in the uh, fall. 9.5 on vault one. This, the second vault. And remember, she must do a second vault. She does a Yurchenko with a full twist, a less difficult vault, and the scores will be averaged. Second vault, 9.25, the average now. 9.375 for Mohini Bahardwa, the 19-year-old. Now out of Pennsylvania, Kristen Maloney. Last three years on a national team. Kristen was named the 1997 Athlete of the Year by USA Gymnastics and Sports Person of the Year by her peers. Really tremendous honors for her. She competed at the 96 Olympic Trials, as a lot of these athletes did. And the reason why we don't really know that much about them is because the first tier of athletes was so tremendous in 96. Obviously, they took home the gold in Atlanta. In the rotation, we move around the gym. Maloney on bars. She had some problems on this event during the first round of competition on her release skill, so let's see how it goes tonight. She's moving well so far. Here comes her big release skill, a Ginger. Oh! And the same exact problem that she had in earlier rounds. A five-tenths deduction whenever you fall from the apparatus. That's something she needs to work on, obviously, because she had the same problem twice. It's important for her to finish up strong, especially with a big dismount. And she does. A little step on the landing, but disappointing for Kristen. She's doing very well in this meet. On the uneven bars, 8.35 for Maloney. A lot of ground to make up on the other apparatus. The leaderboard really not changing right now. Vanessa Adler still our leader. What will happen is at the end of this rotation in the second round, this will then update. More from Denver at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in a moment. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. It's the 1997 U.S. Gymnastics Championships inside McNichols Arena. This is how we stand in the all-around after one round. 
in the middle of the first rotation of round two. And Vanessa Adler, the young lady who has led it since the start, is next on the beam. And remember, Vanessa is one of six seniors in this meet who is not age eligible to compete at the World Championships, even if she finishes in the top six. Nice front tuck mount. She considers this her best event. She's a very crisp and precise performer. That's her style, very confident. Here comes her big flight series, a required element. Beautiful, look at that height on that layout. It's almost as if she's on the floor exercise and <laughs> she is not. That event, the balance beam is four inches wide and four feet off the ground. Vanessa is well aware, of course, of the fact that even if she finishes in the top six, she will not go to the World Championships. And she said she really doesn't mind about that. She just wants to focus and not let that fact upset her gymnastics. And she certainly has not let it upset her gymnastics. Look at that. <laughs> Front tuck with a half twist. So difficult. The most difficult skill you can perform in the sport in e-move. And it gives her two-tenths of bonus. And that's how these athletes raise the level and the value of their routine. Atler is 15 years old. She won't turn 16 by the end of the year. And that is the critical factor in making the World Championship team. It's important to note that this equipment is placed on a raised platform called the podium, which can be an adjustment for a lot of these athletes. And Vanessa doesn't have much experience with it, but it certainly seems like she's mastered this podium thing. Vanessa Adler. The appreciation from the McNichols Arena crowd. Now watch this height. Two back handsprings into a layout. Feet together. She lands with her feet together there. So much height and really great ease. I'm so impressed with this young athlete. We will be seeing a lot of her in the future. Great score. 9.550 on the beam for Adler, who still leads the field. As we continue with our first rotation in the second round, Christy Powell now, 17 years old, from Cincinnati Gymnastics Academy. This has always been a fun event, a strong event for Christy, because she's always been mature beyond her years. And on this event, it really helps you because you are able to express your personality through your dance and through your gymnastics. And we talk about powerful gymnasts. This is one place where she shines. Look at that. Beautiful opening tumbling pass, a double layout. And a double twisting front layout there. Actually, regardless of what we've seen so far, which looks like a lot of difficulty, her routine is only valued at a 9.6. So again, the athletes still have some work to do to adapt to the new rules and reconstruct their routines, and the judges and the coaches and the athletes are still working things out. The floor routine lasting anywhere from 70 to 90 seconds. Christy first made a name for herself in 1995 when she won the McDonald's American Cup, which is a very prestigious event. After being a last-minute replacement in the meet, she had a tremendous competition, beating the likes of Shannon Miller and Amanda Borden, two members of the 96 Olympic team. So Christy is no stranger to you, to the U.S. gymnastics scene. Edging ever so close to the boundary mark to get a long in run. And her fourth tumbling pass <laughs> certainly uh, did not run out of gas there. A beautifully high double pike and a solid finish. Christy is so happy to be here. She's under new training conditions with Mary Lee Tracy, <laughs> who seems quite pleased with that routine. It was such a good start. All right, one down. Mary Lee Tracy has such a positive outlook and a positive approach, and that's why she has three athletes who have been with other coaches who are in this meet and now under her tutelage. Look at that. Double layout, a little leg separation, but so tough to do that skill because you're rotating without bending your knees or piking your body. Look at that score, 9.3, with a start value of 9.6. The judges only deducted three-tenths of a point. The uphill battle continues for Dominique Mochianu. She's next.